Okay, well, good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I call to order the December 13th, 2021 City Council Successor Agency to the Redevelopment Agency Housing Authority Regular Meeting. Would you all please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. All right, are there any changes to the order of the agenda this evening? Nothing from staff this evening, Madam Mayor. All right, thank you. And uh, do we have any council communications or announcements this evening? Uh, these are brief items from members of the city council regarding upcoming events in the community and correspondence they have received. They are informational in nature and no action will be taken on these items at this meeting. All right, seeing none. Um, Crystal, um, we'll move to item number five, public comment. Um, so persons who wish to address the city council on matters not on the posted agenda may do so. Each speaker is limited to two minutes. If there are more than five individuals wishing to speak during public comment, um, uh, well, I'll skip that part. If the item you are speaking on is not listed on the agenda, please uh, be advised that the city council may briefly respond to statements made or questions posed as allowed under the Brown Act. The city council's general policy is to refer items to staff for attention or have a matter placed on a future city council agenda for a more comprehensive action or report and formal public discussion and input at that time. Crystal, are there any members of the public who wish to make a comment at this time? No, there are no hands raised. Okay, thank you. All right, and with that, we'll move to the consent calendar. Um, does anybody wish to pull an item from the consent calendar? All right, um, seeing none, um, I'd be willing to entertain a motion for this item. Madam Mayor, I move to approve city council consent calendar items A through D. I'll second that. All right, thank you. Uh, Crystal, are there any members of the public who wish to comment? No, I do not see any hands. All right, um, all right, uh, council discussion. Madam Mayor, I'll just say I appreciate um, uh, my uh, colleague's support, if, if I have it, on the uh, uh, Crystal Springs Reservoir Resolution of Support. I think it's an important community asset, and I'm glad we're standing behind it. Thank you so much. Crystal, can you call the roll? Councilmember Collins? Yes. Councilmember Dugan? Yes. Councilmember mm -hmm. Rack? Yes. Vice Mayor McDowell? Yes. And Mayor Parma Mohan? Uh, yes. Thank you. All right. Okay, so with that, um, we move now to um, uh, the, I think the moment of the evening, uh, which is the council reorganization, item number seven. Um, I'll begin with um, some uh, short comments and then uh, call for nominations for the new mayor. Uh, so with that, I just wanted to thank you and my colleagues for having put your confidence in me this past year as mayor and thank the staff uh, to each and every one of you for your adaptability uh, to assimilate input from five bosses and still make the city hum. I want to thank my neighbors uh, for entrusting me to represent you as your mayor this past year. It was an honor and a joy to serve in this capacity. And most importantly, I wanna thank my family, Kathy, Gregory, and Bradley for your ongoing support. With great certainty, this effort would not be possible were it not for your help and encouragement and love. I have been committed to running meetings this past year with efficiency while ensuring that all voices are heard. And I hope that this is what you have all experienced. This year was extraordinarily challenging as council worked together to conduct city business against the backdrop of an ongoing global pandemic that has extended beyond anyone's wildest imaginations. As a community, colleagues, business owners and neighbors, we accomplished much, including but not limited to approval of the design work for the fire station 16 replacement, 
continued efforts for wildfire preparedness, including an evacuation drill, and of course, welcoming back our friends, the goats. Adoption of the Eastside Innovation Di District Visioning Plan uh, that was a very broad-based community effort that will help set the direction for incoming development in such a way as to enhance San Carlos and make the community better and more sustainable. The initiation of the housing environmental safety element updates. Uh, as a result of this effort, um, the goal here is to retain our character and our charm as a city, but make the circle bigger. We've demonstrated our commitment as a council to taking on the climate crisis with the adoption of an extremely comprehensive climate mitigation adaptation plan, something everybody I think can be proud of. We've also set forth our commitment to economic development with the approval of the economic development plan and alignment on the re request for proposal for the downtown visioning plan. Two programs that are essential, especially right now as we emerge from the COVID pandemic, economic recovery is really important. Construction continued on the affordable housing uh, project on Walnut Street, which will quadruple the number of people housed all at the lower levels of income. And I'm excited for when that will open. We also have initiated work to increase the areas within San Carlos where childcare uh, can, can uh, be created, which is very important uh, since we are um, uh, don't have enough capacity for the kids in our community. We have together shown our passion and commitment to move forward as a resilient, sustainable community within which all are welcome and belong. Yet there is more work to be done and I look forward to handing the gavel to my successor. So thank you everybody. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity. Um, it was an experience of a lifetime for sure. So with that, um, I will now call for nominations for the new mayor. Madam Mayor, I'd like to nominate, be my honor to nominate Sarah McDowell as the next mayor of St. Carlos. All right, do we have a second? It would be my honor to second that, uh, Madam Mayor. All right, sorry. <laughs> okay. I was I was seconding it, but no one was hearing me. Uh, the mute button. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's pesky. All right, so this time um, I'd like to uh, close the nomination and move to a vote. Crystal, can you please call the roll? Vice Mayor McDowell? Yes. Council Member Collins? Yes. Council Member Dugan? Yes. Council Member Rack? Yes. And Mayor Parmalohan? Yes. All right. Um, I think uh, you take it from here, Mayor. Madam Mayor. Congratulations, Sarah McDowell. Um, Thank you. It will be my honor to administer the oath of office to you. We'll go ahead and give you a okay. minute to. I'm gonna pause just real quickly to get ready. Thank you. One sec. And I think we're ready. Okay, Sarah McDowell, if you can raise your right hand, which you are doing already. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties for which you're about to enter. I do. Congratulations, Mayor McDowell. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> one second. Okay, thank you for your patience. 
and I'm so honored. Um, so the way that we've agreed to um, do the next step is uh, we will take comments from city council next, then public comment, and then I will have a few remarks to say. So um, I see council member Collins' hand is up. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. And what a pleasure it is not to have to learn to say Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just get to keep that that vibe going for another year. Um, let me be the first to say uh, congratulations. Uh, it's it's kind of a daunting task, but I think you're up to the challenge. You've you've had two years now to watch your predecessors uh, to do the job. I, I did want to say a few things though about our outgoing mayor. You know, mayors get more emails, they get more phone calls, they get more letters. Um, they get more feedback from the public, and not all of it is always nice, but, you know, it comes with the territory. The public thinks the mayor has more power, thinks that the mayor has more influence, but it's, you know, it's it's just actually just uh, doing the job every day. And I just, I'm, I'm just so proud that, um, that uh, Laura, you have done a magnificent job, as I told you earlier today. I think you've represented the the city with grace and professionalism and aplomb uh, over the last 12 months uh, as, as the only other prior mayor on the council. I think I can say that with some certainty. So I, again, I just want to say congratulations on, an, on a job extremely well done and thank you. Thank you, Council Member Collins. I really appreciate your kind words. Um, go ahead, Lori, you had your hand up next. I just wanted to um, congratulate you, Madam Mayor, into your new role and let you know that you have my full support. I'm excited for the year ahead, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I'm sure that you will. Uh, the community is very lucky to have you, and um, I know you'll serve uh, with passion, commitment, and great care. Um, congratulations again, and it was wonderful to see your family uh, alongside you as you took your oath. Beautiful. Thank you. You're, you're always going to be mayor in my world, Laura. So, <laughs> uh, Council Member Dugan. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. And uh, first, uh, Laura, congratulations on the very successful mayorship. Um, I uh, was honored to uh, join the council uh, under your mayorship and, and appreciated all the uh, guidance and nudging and uh, uh, just the collegiality I, I felt we built over the past year and uh, and even before that. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, the city was well represented and was in good hands the whole time uh, with you. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you for your kind words, John. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, Sarah, um, congratulations. Uh, it was uh, a, a natural honor that you would soon be our mayor, and I look forward to working with you further. And And I just congratulate you mostly on just your deep commitment to San Carlos and how involved you are in so many aspects of our community. And uh, uh, that that um, truly is an inspiration to me, and, uh, and I appreciate that. And uh, I look forward to working with you and uh, uh, the rest of the council uh, this year. Thank you. That's very kind of you, Council Member Dugan. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Rack. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I just want to start first with uh, thanking Laura for her leadership over the last year. And, and I would agree it's a very challenging time. Uh, working remotely provides lots of complexities to our meetings and can make it more difficult to get things done. And you successfully guided us forward. I think the first time all this group of five people had been together uh, in person was last week at the Chilton Park uh, ribbon cutting. So uh, that gives an example of how difficult it is. We haven't even seen each other all together uh, in, in over a year, maybe even two years. Uh, and, and I think that's another example of a, a highlight of one of your successes and helping us guide us through that. That and many others, uh, many other accomplishments. I know you highlighted many of them, but uh, there are many, many more as well. And I just want to congratulate you again on your successful year. And I look forward to working, continue to work with you in 2022. Thank you, Adam. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your kind words. Mayor McDowell, congratulations. Uh, I'm excited to be working with you uh, to move the city forward as we tackle some really difficult issues uh, ahead, including the downtown, which is, you know, as you know, a favorite of mine. Uh, and then, you know, implementing our east side vision document, tackling further commercial growth and, and all the benefits 
that can come with that. Um, I feel really confident about your leadership and what your deep commitment to the city and what that will bring. Uh, and I look forward to really to working with you and all my council members to really help our city uh, achieve success in the coming year. And I, you know, I'll be there to support you and, and, and be by your side. So congratulations. Thank you, council member Rack. Um, those are all really wonderful comments. I, I have remarks as well, but I'm gonna save those to the end. So I will turn it over to Crystal now to ask if there's any public comment. I do not see any hands, no. Thank you very much. Um, I will transition now to making some of my remarks. I would like to begin by thanking Mayor Parmer Lohan for her tireless service to our community as mayor over the last year. And I especially want to thank her for her focus on inclusivity. Making sure that all voices are heard is something she holds dear. It has shown through in all of her work and has made our city a better place because of it. I also want to thank my colleagues, uh, Adam Rack, Ron Collins, and John Dugan. It's a joy to work with each one of you, and I appreciate your leadership. We are fortunate to work with a terrific staff led by our city manager, Jeff Maltby, and I'd like to express my appreciation to them for all of their hard work and dedication to our community. I would not be here tonight without the steadfast support of my family. It has been so special for me to share this moment with my two children, Ryan and Leah, and my husband, Greg. Thank you all so much for your support and love, and I could not take on this role without you by my side. I also want to thank my family watching from home tonight, my mom, Carol, and my stepdad, Rick, my dad, Don, my in-laws, Kevin and Vicki, my sister, Megan, and my stepsisters, Stephanie and Chelsea, and all of my extended family and friends who are zooming in from all over the country. Your encouraging words have meant the world to me. I feel so honored by the opportunity to serve as your mayor this coming year. Since our city's incorporation in 1925, only six women have been elected to serve on our city council, including me and Laura. Five women have served as mayor, and now I will be six. This is an especially meaningful night to our family because my children are sixth generation San Mateo County residents. Their great, great, great grandparents moved to San Mateo from San Francisco soon after the 1906 earthquake. My father-in-law grew up for a time in San Carlos and even attended San Carlos High School. Our roots run deep on the peninsula and our love for this community has spanned generations. And over the generations, our small town has seen a lot of change. Businesses have turned over, homes were built, parks created, and schools expanded. But that change cannot compare with what we have lived through the last two years during the COVID-19 pandemic. We learned new ways to work, our children navigated online school, and we created innovative ways to help each other through difficult times. Seeing San Carlos's can-do volunteer spirit emerge in new ways has warmed my heart. Our long-standing service organizations joined forces with new groups like Neighbors Helping Neighbors and the Community Foundation of San Carlos, working together to bring those in need food, holiday presents, and complete errands. I'm looking forward to continuing to nourish volunteerism in San Carlos in the coming year. Our downtown has changed too, with the addition of parklets and a more pedestrian feel to Laurel Street. In the new year, we will work as a community to develop a plan to address the future of downtown Laurel Street and its surroundings. We must also continue efforts to support and engage with our small businesses, which makes San Carlos a must visit destination on the peninsula. As we consider change, much of what we do as a council is because we want to make sure the future is bright for our children. This is why our strategic plan includes work to address the effects of climate change, plans to increase the supply of affordable housing so that our kids can have the opportunity to live in our community one day if they so choose, commitments to support and encourage the creation of childcare facilities, and to work to continually improve our safe routes to school. But I want to pause for a moment to recognize that what we have lived through and continue living through during the pandemic, all of this change, has taken a silent toll on our mental health 
both for children and adults. I am wearing green tonight because it is a symbol of mental health awareness. This is an issue close to my heart that I also intend to focus energy on this year. My time volunteering during the first 18 months of the pandemic at One Life Counseling Center's weekly food distributions brought this need into clear focus for me. One Life provides therapy to community members regardless of ability to pay, and they have seen referrals for their services increase more than 300%. The need for mental health services in our county has never been greater. So tonight, I am pleased to announce the San Mateo County Mayor's Mental Health Initiative, a regional effort I am spearheading alongside Redwood City Mayor Giselle Hale. We are privileged to be joined already by 10 additional mayors in our county, and we will work to increase awareness of and access to mental health services. By working together as leaders throughout the county, we can share stories and resources to bring attention to this important issue and work toward addressing the need. Over the, the course of my mayorship, I will be sharing more about this effort and how we can support one another. Supporting each other is something we do by nature in San Carlos. When I volunteered at One Life, there were times I would look around and be so moved by just how many people showed up to help. From school children who made treat bags every week to give away to the children in the back seats of the cars coming through, to teens collecting toiletries and hygiene products, to people on their lunch breaks joining retirees loading groceries into cars, to business owners cooking extra food to give away. This did not surprise me, but it did make me feel so proud of our community. While we have lived through great change, there are many things that will remain constant. We are a community that prioritizes being welcoming and inclusive. We believe in helping others, and we know that kindness matters. I'd like to end by thanking you, the community, for making San Carlos a great place to live, learn, work, and play. You inspire me. I am hopeful for the year ahead, and I look forward to all the moments where we as a community can come together to reconnect, to laugh, and to appreciate how fortunate we are to call the city of good living our home. I am honored and humbled to be selected as the next mayor of San Carlos. And I recognize I am one of a long line of citizens who have had the great honor of becoming mayor, and I will strive to work hard and do my best. I'm excited to continue serving this great community, and I know we can accomplish anything as long as we do it together. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> With that being said, I will now move to item 7C, new mayor, to call for nominations for vice mayor. So are there, um, is there a motion yes. for a new vice mayor? Madam Mayor, I would like to nominate Adam Rack as our vice mayor. And I'd like to second that. Wonderful, thank you. With that, I will uh, close the nominations and I will ask if there's any discussion. Okay, seeing none, Crystal, could you please call the roll? Councilmember Collins? Yes. Councilmember Farmer Lohan? Yes. Councilmember Dugan? Yes. Councilmember Rack? Yes. And Mayor McDonald? Yes. Congratulations, Vice Mayor Rack. Thank you. Give me a second to get ready now, too. Okay, we will pause for Adam to get ready. Adam Rack, if you can raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, 
and that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties for which you are about to enter. I do. Thank you, Vice Mayor Rack. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let me get back ready. Okay, I see Adam is back. Um, we will now take comments from council, then public comment, and then we will allow um, Adam can have the final word with his remarks. So are there comments from my colleagues? Council member Parmer Lohan. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, congratulations, uh, Vice Mayor Iraq. Uh, I'm excited to see you in this role and I look forward to supporting you in it as you lead us forward alongside Madam Mayor. I know that you will serve our community uh, with passion and commitment and great care. And uh, I feel fortunate to be able to work alongside you in that. Thank you, Councilman. Now we'll figure that. Thank you, Laura. Okay, I see um, Council Member Collins and then Council Member Dugan. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I just want to add my congratulations to Adam. Uh, he and I have been on the downtown subcommittee this last year, and because of everything going on on Laurel Street, we've had to meet numerous times. So it's it's really a a pleasure to work with you, Adam. I'm I'm looking forward to uh, your term as vice mayor. We'll see what happens the year after that. Uh, but uh, I, you know, you, you've really shown yourself to be dedicated to this job. You're always thinking, always coming up with ideas. Um, most I agree with. Every once in a while, there's one or two that we have a difference of opinion, but uh, but I, I think you come up with more ideas than I do. So I I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of appreciation for that. And you're always looking to ways for ways to make the the town better. And uh, and I and I really uh, I think that's a mark of a great council member that cares for the community and takes the time to engage the citizens and puts forward those ideas. So again, congratulations. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate those comments. Council Member Dugan. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And uh, yes, congratulations, Adam. Uh, Well-earned honor. And I've enjoyed serving with you and uh, learning from you over the past year. And I, I too appreciate your dedication to San Carlos and the uh, uh, ideas and the uh, items that are important to you, uh, I find are uh, always well received and important to all of us. So thank you for that. And uh, I look forward to serving uh, another good year with you. So uh, congratulations. Thank you, John. And Vice Mayor Rack, I will allow you to have the final word. I've known you for quite a while since our days at Britton Acres Elementary School, and um, your commitment to the community has just been unparalleled, and I really appreciate just how um, dedicated you are and how hard you work for, on behalf of our community. So I'm looking forward to serving with you this year in our positions of leadership, and, um, you know, best of luck. So thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. <laughs> Great. And now I will um, open it up to public comment. Crystal, is there, are there any um, people wishing to make a public comment? Yes, I do see one hand. Charles Stone, you should be able to unmute. Good evening, council colleagues. Uh, my name is Charles Stone, and I have the honor of serving as the mayor of Belmont for 24 more hours. Um, tonight, I bring good tidings from your neighbor to the north. I wanted to congratulate Mayor Parma Lohan on a term well served. Congratulate Mayor McDowell on her new mayorship. Look forward to maintaining the collegial and collaborative relationship our cities have. And uh, congratulations to Vice Mayor Rack as well. I also wanted to briefly, and I know I'm at the wrong point on the agenda, but I really wanted to thank you for your leadership in adopting the resolution earlier this evening in support of ongoing cross-country meets at the Crystal Springs cross-country course. That, that was really awesome. Thanks for being there for us and for the kids on that issue. And with that, I look forward to seeing you all many times in person, hopefully in 2022. Thank you, Mayor Stone. 
Crystal, is there, are there any um, other persons wishing to comment? No, there are no hands. Okay. Okay, I will turn it over to Vice Mayor Rack if you'd like to make any remarks. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, thank you. I want to uh, thank my colleagues for their support and confidence in selecting me as Vice Mayor for the coming year, and I look forward to working with all of you, city staff, and the community. Uh, we have a lot to tackle ahead. And I also want to thank my wife, Allison, and my three daughters, Phoebe, Jane, and Lydia, for their continued support and inspiration. Um, Lydia was, and Allison were here able to join me today, but Phoebe and Jane are at school across the country, so I know they're dialing in, so I appreciate them staying up late and, and joining in this uh, event. So as we continue to work through the ups and downs that the pandemic brings us, it's important that we remain focused on making St. Carlos even better, helping to build the housing that we need in this community, working to ensure that commercial development not only creates jobs, but also provides more benefits to our community. And finally, at the last meeting, we took that next step in reimagining our downtown. I'm excited about engaging the community on this journey. The changes we make will have a lasting and positive impact on all of San Carlos. 2022 will be a busy year, and I'm excited about the prospects of getting to work with Mayor McDowell and my colleagues to tackle the challenges that lay ahead. And again, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Okay, I think that we have moved through item seven on the agenda. So we will um, now move on to item eight, agenda setting. Uh, or do any of my colleagues have items to discuss under agenda setting? Okay. Seeing no hands, I'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday season. Please stay safe and take care of one another. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Take my new you gavel. Yeah. <laughs> you got your gavel from the mayor's office. <laughs> Night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, everybody. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.